Let's talk about the circle, you squares. I'm like a bully from the 50s. Hey Chet, did you catch that color TV program the other day? Hey, right, what you looking at, you loser? What are you, some sort of square or something? Reality TV is garbage enough already, but Netflix thought, how do we make reality TV even worse? And the answer was, infuse social media into it. Eight people enter an apartment complex, and they never see each other. The only time they communicate is through a private social media app. Whoever becomes the biggest influencer amongst them gets $100,000. At the end, the players will decide who's the most popular and the winner of $100,000. This is the circle. Let's go ahead and meet the contestants. Who's up first? Hey, everybody, my name is Chris. I would like to be perceived as a real ass bitch in a fake ass world. The camera never lies. So once you put that phone on your face, you better keep it real, girl, because that shit clocks everything. Guys, I think Chris might be gay, but I can't confirm. I'll get back to you once I have more evidence. Next up, we have an Italian man who is way too into his looks and is also a self-proclaimed mama's boy. And I'm the proudest mama's boy you're ever gonna meet. I know, it's crazy, right? Where do they find this guy? An Italian man who is into his looks and loves his mother? The only Italian man that I can think of with those same attributes is every Italian man ever. Luckily for us, the next contestant is not a stereotype like the first two were. The next contestant is named Alana and she is a white swimsuit model who wants you to know that she's more than just her looks. She's also kind of klutzy and a dork because she can do this, which makes her super dorky. I'm such a dork. Here's where things get interesting. Are you ready for this? The next guy that comes in, he's going to be catfishing, but he's not going to be catfishing as just anybody. Oh, no, 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 no. He is going to be using his actual real life girlfriend's pictures. I do have a secret in store for the players. I'm a dude. <laughs> He's gonna be flirting with guys using his girlfriend's pictures. It is so weird, but God damn it, am I hooked. Then we have Shabam, who is an Indian American. He works in tech, he is a geek, and he hates social media. We're really straying away from stereotypes now. Pretty exciting. No idea what this is. Oh, it's Play Doh. He's not gonna put that in his mouth, is he? I bet you he did the Tide Pod challenge. Oh God, why? Look, reality TV showrunners, I get it. Love Island was super popular. Part of the reason it had so much success is because it's got a narrator who's got a sharp tongue with just a general disdain for the show he's narrating. That's what makes it so good. Fantasies are a healthy part of any relationship. Sometimes Molly May imagines Tom in his boxing gloves. Sometimes Tommy pretends Molly May is an acoustic guitar. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. America, listen up very close. Stop trying to copy stuff from the UK. It never works. Last three contestants. Let's run through this quick. So first, we have a girl who likes to post images of her butt on social media. And her favorite emoji is the devil emoji. Look out, worlds. We have a bad bitch on our hands. I am bisexual. And she's bisexual, which just brings back painful memories for me. Because I had a roommate in college who dated a girl named Samantha who was bisexual. And then he cheated on Samantha with her best friend. And he said to me, don't tell his girlfriend. So on one hand, bro code. But on the other hand, you're just a douchebag. And before I could decide what to do, he went to jail. And it was at that point that I decided not to cross him. I am a hundred thousand million percent lesbian and I am in a happy and healthy relationship. Hi babe. I am choosing to play a catfish named Mercedes. Oh, we have another catfish. Okay, so this girl loves herself. It's hard not to love me. In fact, she loves herself so much that she is going to pretend to be another person completely. Which makes sense, but only if you don't think about it. Last and least, we have Antonio, who is a professional basketball player. He plays overseas. It's probably the best sport in the world. You get to travel the world, you get to eat new foods. Antonio thinks that basketball is the best sport because you get to travel the world and you get to eat new foods. And professional basketball is the only job in the world 
where you get to do those two things. I think me being me, you know, really tall, attractive, that comes with a lot of groupies, a lot of girls hitting on you, it's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> I don't look like a douchebag online. I don't flash a lot of jewelry online. I, just, I don't do douchebag stuff. Uh, someone's gonna have to tell him that bragging about being tall, attractive, and having groupies squarely puts you in the douchebag territory. Now that you guys know the characters, I want you to guess, okay? So they're now gonna play a little game. Based on one profile photo and a short description, they're gonna rank each other from number one, their favorites, to number seven, their least favorite. Let's rank your fellow players from favorite to least favorite. Once everyone has rated, the top two players will become the circle influencers and will hold great power. And I want you guys to guess, who do you think they're gonna choose as their favorite? And who do you think they're gonna choose as their least favorite? If you need a little help, imagine you're back in high school. Who do you think would be at the head of the cool kids table and who would be eating their bag lunch in the bathroom stall? Did you guess that the jock is gonna be at the cool kids table and that the Indian kid's gonna be in the bathroom by himself? Well, congratulations. You just played right into society stereotypes. You're also correct, but still. Oh my god, I got eighth? Are you kidding me? Now here is where people start to get to know each other, okay? What up, what up, family? Loyalty, respect, and honor are everything. <laughs> Did I mention this guy was Italian? Family, loyalty, respect, and honor. That's the Italian national anthem. Family, honor, respect, and loyalty. I feel like he's gonna be one of the ones that slides into my DMs and flirts with me. I guess, whatever. If it happens, it happens. That's such an egotistical thing to say. And what's worse is the fact that she's right. This dude goes hard in flirting with this girl. The word on the street is you are crushing on me hard right now. Sent. Oh my God. Oh. Message. This just went from a curiosity to a straight pursuit. I'm hitting 90 on the freeway. I'm coming to get you, girl. Hashtag, yeah, yeah buddy! The only people that should be interested in her are people who like saltine crackers and vanilla pudding. Tacos all day, every day. It's kind of like every basic girl's profile. Boom, roasted. Circle, take me to Rebecca. This is just not a good look. She looks like a poodle. <laughs> ah, nothing quite like a person being too ashamed of the way they look to post a photo to social media, making fun of another person's photo on social media. So why are you catfishing? Would you have talked to me if I look like this on my default? She looks like a poodle. You hate to see it. As the most popular player, Sammy and Antonio are now the circle influencers. Influencers, you must now decide which at-risk player you wish to block from the circle. Whew, okay, it's time. It's time you guys have enough information. I want you to guess who the first person eliminated was. I'm gonna give you a 10 second countdown to make your guesses. 10, nine, eight, Alana. It was Alana. You didn't need 10 seconds, come on. She's got no personality. <laughs> the player we decided to block is dot, dot, dot. I'm a model. So they wouldn't think that I am who I am. Obviously because I'm a model, they didn't think I was real. Like they looked at my photos and they're like, there's no way a person actually exists as pretty as this. So I, I'm pretty sure that they just thought I was a catfish because I'm too pretty. <laughs> you don't get it. You don't understand how difficult it is to be beautiful. God, I wish I could just be an amateur person. <laughs> And it's a real shame, man, because the contestants never got to learn Alana's personality. But to be fair, I've had a whole hour, and I don't know anything about her. The only reason I'm still watching this show is for this girl. Her name is Miranda. She is the sweetest, kindest, most attractive person. I gotta say, guys, I think I'm in love. This girl is just too good to be true. God, and she's single. That's the best part. She came in and she said she was single. Okay, my relationship status, single, very single. This is the greatest day of my life! She single-handedly gave us the game's realest moment when she opened up to Joey about her family. Oh, are you close with your family? I don't know why that's already gonna make me tear up. So happy you are blessed. I am not close with my family. My brothers and I actually bounced around between family 
until we were separated once we were put into foster care. Oh my God. That just made me feel, man, I almost cried. And this show does not have very many real moments. They are so busy pushing people in and pulling people out that you just don't have time to connect to anybody. The player we've decided to block is... Ah, oh, shit! New player coming through. Knew it. It's time for a new player to move in. My bad, I meant two people. Oh, what's that? She just got emotionally connected to a certain person? Well, they're gone. They're gone already. I can't believe she was kicked out. This couldn't get any worse. Before you leave, you can meet one player face to face. Now, let me ask you, I'm always a complete gentleman. Is there any chance you would want to give me a goodbye kiss? <laughs> no, no, she would not, sir. <laughs> I would love to. <sighs> What? Let me just reiterate, he is the reason she is kicked out. Player I'm saving is... Oh my god, I'm going home. He's the reason she's not gonna win the money, he's the reason she doesn't get this experience any longer, and yet she goes to his apartment, apologizes to him for him kicking her out. If there was anything that I did that made you feel sour, I am completely sorry. And then makes out with him. I, how did he finesse this? Ow, oh, Italians, man. A boobity boobity pizza make out. Who can resist, you know what I mean? It's such a lovely language. The show's biggest shortcoming though, was it felt like it was gonna be a social experiment, kind of, where they could only communicate through social media and it was gonna be kind of like a microcosm of social media at large. However, it completely strayed away from that because you incentivize them with money, meaning that people weren't trying to build relationships, they were trying to build alliances to get further in the game. Funny enough, there's a show on Netflix called Terrace House, which is kind of like the anti-reality show. It's, I think it's set in Japan. Six people come to live in a house, but there's no money incentive. There's nothing to gain from it. Maybe a little bit of clout, but not much. The contestants go out and they live their normal lives. They go to their jobs, they hang out with their friends, there's not cameras on them 24 seven. And it takes place over the course of months. And there's only like a handful of episodes. So you're really seeing the most interesting parts. And that's the parts where like they're having real genuine conversations with each other when they're actually getting to know each other with no ulterior motives. They have real conversations about philosophy, work, where they're going in their lives. They try to help each other get to their goals, try to help each other find direction with their lives. There's a very real aspect to it. And I feel like there's a middle ground between incentivizing all the people with money and just making a complete game out of it and also doing it as like a social experiment. And this show went too far and it just kind of needs to pull back towards just making it more real. Basically to wrap it all up, the show lost its aim and became garbage and my favorite girl Broke my heart. I'll see you in the next video. Totals.